Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you could use the new color balance filter that's in On One Photo Raw 2020 to remove a color cast from your image. All right, you can see on this image here, it has a really strong green color cast. Where this chipmunk was, was just surrounded with green fern and green grass and just green trees. And the light that was filtering through just reflected off all that green and caused this strong green color cast. Well, it's pretty easy to remove with the new color balance filter that's found in the effects module of On One Photo Raw 2020. Now we're gonna go to the filter, we're gonna go to add filter and we'll go to color balance. Now, as you look at the image, uh, you have to determine where is this cast? Is it in the highlights, the midtones or the shadows? And it's generally in the midtones on this image. So I'm gonna click on the midtones tab. Now what we need to do is we need to uh, determine what the subtractive complementary color is of green. Now that might sound like really hard, but it isn't. You know RGB, right? You've probably heard that all the time, red, green, blue, RGB. You might have heard, if you're really into printing your images, CMYK. C stands for cyan, M stands for magenta, Y stands for yellow, and K stands for key, which means black. Now we could ignore the K. So we have CMY and we have RGB. The subtractive complementary color of the R in RGB is the C in CMY. The complementary, the subtractive complementary color of G in RGB is M in CMY. The subtractive complementary color of B in RGB is Y in CMY. So they just line up. So we have green, that's the G in RGB. We want to get rid of it by using the complementary color, which is M in CMY. M stands for magenta. So what we need to do is just move this hue to magenta. Now this is degrees or angle of view. You could, if you have really good eyes and you know what magenta looks like, you could just move the slider. If you're not sure, just go to Google and type in hue angle for magenta and you'll see it comes right up here, it's 300 degrees. So very simply take that hue and move it to 300. Now, move the amount until you see the green go away. Now, you may have to just kind of go slow because it might kind of kick in quicker than you think it will. So you just bring it up, bring it up in this case until you think that green has kind of dissipated. Then, in this case, maybe it's looking a little pink. We could come in here with the brightness slider and we could move brightness a bit until we get the image looking like normal everyday light was falling on this chipmunk. I think right around there looks pretty good. Now I could just process it as normal. I got rid of the green cast. And if I wasn't talking and explaining to you what RGB and CMY, how they line up and all that stuff, I could have done this. Even if I had to Google the U angle for magenta, I could have done this in probably a minute or two. So it's very, very easy to do. So whenever you have a color cast on an image, determine what the color is, get the color balance filter, determine what the subtractive complementary color is of that color cast, and then just dial it in with the hue slider, move the amount slider till it's gone, and use the brightness slider to touch it up. And that's as easy as that. I mean, it really is very, very simple. And those of you that have dealt with color casts before probably know they're very difficult to get rid of, generally speaking. Sometimes impossible. I've had this image for a real long time. I've take, I, I took this image a few years ago and 
Never was super happy with it. Not only the color cast is bad, but it it's just a little bit soft. So I didn't like that. I kind of misfocus a little bit, but it's still a decent image. And I always wanted to try to remove the color cast. And now I was able to do it with the color balance filter. So I hope that made sense. If you have any questions, just leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you're interested in the gear I used to capture this image and the settings I used for that gear, I'll have all that listed in the description below this video as well. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.